Right, so while I'm here sat here tying millions of uckleds, as usual, as that's all there seems to be, the only job left to do in this lockdown, um, I thought I'd have a little chat. Yeah, this is, it's something I actually wrote a feature about not long ago, I think it's uh, about to come out on the Matrix page. And that is uh, doing the right type of prep. You know what I mean? What I've done over the last couple of years, who knows how long, is minimise my, my prep as much as possible, because it's horrible. I mean, when it comes to, to tying up lengths, there's that many different permutations that we could potentially use. If, if you covered uh, anything more than what you actually do need, it, it gets ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? The amount of books we tie, or I tie, just keeping things simple, it, it, it drives me mad. So I'll have a little chat about, say same as the feature I've written, is what the steps that I've done to keep things as simple as possible. So my camera's a bit wobbly, it's currently strapped to a vase, but see what happens. Um, so yeah, basically when it comes to tying up, so the, the, the biggest mistake I see, be it on everyone's fancy photos that they stick on Facebook, everyone loves putting a, an old prep photo on Facebook now and again. If you zoom in on the up, up boxes, you can have a look what people have done. And when I'm teaching as well, it's seeing people tie sort of rigs that they're never going to use or hook lengths that they're never going to use, using like one size of hook, you know what I mean? They tie it, I've got to tie a 14 in this pattern. And they tie it on everything from 0.1 up to 0.22. And you think, you're never going to use 90% of them. Much you're using it. it. looks lovely. You know what I mean? It's great posing to make on Facebook. But I ain't into all that. You know what I mean? You just want to have, with the, the amount of time that you have to spend on prep anyway, I want everything I do to be, I mean, it's stuff I'm going to use. I want to use my upland box. I don't want things to be rotting away for two or three years and think, oh, I spent five hours doing them. But they look pretty for two years, but I've never actually used them. So I don't want any of that. So what it comes down to, is when it comes to hook choice, we want to keep things simple. Yeah, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to babble about this is the exact hook you've got to use because you know, I mean, we all it's all personal choices what we like using. Basically, what it comes down to is you want for, for your pole commercial fishing, uh, I believe you want a light gauge wire uh, in a spade end and an eyed hook. You want a medium gauge wire in a spade end and an eyed hook. And maybe depending on the venues that you go to, you might want a heavy gauge in one or both. Who, who knows? Depending on the venue. But for me, it's it's the the first uh, two steps. You know I mean, a light and a medium that that mean everything. And by having those two styles of hooks, I pretty much I don't know if you can see them. We just so well see them. We have me me wintry F one delicacy type fishing, and then I have me carp fishing. It makes it a medium gauge hook for me for the elastics that I use in the venues I go to. A medium gauge does all my carp fishing as well, and I'm able to cover pretty much all my summer fishing or most of my summer fishing within them two boxes. I mean, it's really, really simple. Uh, in that, I'll use, I mean, in, in this case, with my light um, wire gauge, I literally just use them in a size 18 or 16, so I can tie them on 0 10, 0 12. That's it, because I'm never going to use any heavier than that in them styles of hooks, so I just keep it to, I mean, keep it as simple as possible. The, the one thing I do think you need to expand on and do as many as possible is the length of hook length that that seems to me it, it's become more important to me in having different lengths i mean in these two boxes i have six inch and four inch and then another box here i have little twos and threes little diddy ones because that's more important than having a massive array of hooks it's the sizes that are massive in so you can have the perfect style of hook or perfect size of hook lengths to make your rig proportional and whatever depth you're gonna have uh, whatever depth you're gonna be fishing so yeah Basically, you know, a nice short and sweet video, pretty much, just to just just try and get people to think a little bit more about what they're prepping. I mean, it's just so they're doing the right sort of things. You know what I mean? Let's say my, my light ones are 010, 012, two sizes of hooks because I'm not going to use anything else. My medium gauge wires are um, 18s and 16s, and they're on 013, 015, and 017. Do you know, it's that simple. You know what I mean? You can limit your fishing down that much. So you're never ever prepping things that you don't need. It makes you a little bit more. Um, efficient, you know what I mean? You know what's going on a little bit better because you're not faffing about with, oh, should I use a 14 to it? No. Get the right stuff prepped and it'll make your fishing so much more easier. So hopefully that one helps a little bit.